I think I found the brown note. <laughs> Welcome back guys to another edition of Looted. Today is the day. Today is finally the day that we've all been waiting for ever since we made our first video on these guys like six months ago. Today, we unbox the Otamatone Techno. Man, this thing is massive. So if you didn't check out our first video that we did on Otamatones, basically we had three different types of Otamatones ranging from the most simple that you just blow into to like your normal sized Otamatone, which is like this big and works the same. But now we have upgraded, finally it took us this long, but now we have the Otamatone Techno in our possession. So there are two different types of Otamatones which are around about this size. You get the Deluxe and the Techno. The Deluxe is like the Techno, but it's missing some features. So this is the full hog upgraded Otamatone with all the bells and whistles. So we're gonna give it a go, see what this thing can do. So the main difference between the Deluxe and the Techno is the fact that now with the Techno, you can actually connect your phone up to your Otamatone to change the sound of the Otamatone. So it's not just your basic vanilla Otamatone. You can now actually use apps to customize the sound change it to different instruments, give it some auto-tune. You can do all sorts to this. It's kind of a game changer for this instrument, if you can call it that. An instrument or a game changer? An instrument. So on the back here, you can see a few examples of apps that you can use with this Otamatone. There are only four listed there. I'm sure you can use more. And it's worth noting that this will only work with iOS devices. It will not work with Android. So if you're an Android user, unfortunately, this is a no-go for you, only iOS. So let's just get into this thing here. And we've got the instructions. First things first, we've then got the 3.5 millimeter wire there and it's a four pole. We've got the strap that comes with it because this thing is a monster. And what a shocker, it actually comes with three double A's. Never happens. Now the moment we've all been waiting for, let's just get this guy out. Well, I have to say, Maywa Denki have outdone themselves. This thing is a beast. Okay, let's free this guy from his shackles. Freedom! And inside... Oh, no. Oh, come. Look, they gagged you as well. How could they do this to such a beautiful creature? So unlike the other Otamatones, this one is all party on the front, but business on the back. So let's have a look and see what this thing has to offer right here. So we've got the on off switch here, which is also the volume controls. And I'm guessing this is gonna go quite a lot louder than its predecessors. Also on the back here, we have the DC in. So this thing isn't just battery powered. You can actually plug this thing into the mains. And just like the other Otamatones, you've got the low, medium and high pitch set settings right there. There's also a line out so you can plug this thing into an amplifier or speakers and then you've got the Otama link or OTM link whatever you want to call it which is where you hook your phone up. So now that's the basic rundown of this thing. Now let's get some batteries in it. So we just unscrew the back nice and simple and then you've got a little compartment there for your AA batteries which is so nicely included. The light is on you know we mean business now so let's put it onto a medium volume right there put it onto medium pitch and let's just give this a quick test nice now full power honestly i was expecting it to be just a little bit louder but at the same time we've got a line out function here so i'm pretty sure we can rack up the volume here in a few moments time bear with me the slider itself doesn't look much different from the older automatones it still gets the same sort of sound but i'm guessing there's a few extra steps between the notes the one thing I have noticed about this thing, which is already kind of annoying, is the fact that the little strap loops here do rattle when you don't have the strap attached. So as you can hear, like you're moving it about, rattle, 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 kind of annoying, but still not a deal breaker. Oh. So if you guys have already seen what the normal automaton is, I won't bother trying to play a tune with this. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you the new features right off the bat. So for this demonstration, we are using an iPad mini. We do have an iPhone, but it's quite an old one and I'm pretty sure it does not work with this device. It's an iPhone 4S and I have an inkling, I think I've seen it online, that anywhere below an iPhone 5 will not work with this device. So we just take the cable which was supplied with the automaton into the iPad 
on one side and into the Otamatone with the Otama link right there. So we've loaded this thing with three of the four apps that were suggested on the box. We actually couldn't find one of them, so I don't actually know what's happened to that one, but we've got three on here to try out. And the first one we're gonna try is Fum Jam, which will basically change the Automatone sound to sound like a different instrument. So this one is super basic to set up. Once you've got the wire attached, you load up the app and then you hit this little icon up here, which is a microphone and a music note. And once you've hit that, you are all linked up. Why won't you press? There we go. Now in here, there's a load of different customization options, but we're just gonna go ahead and just change the instrument right there. And let's go for something a bit odd, shall we? Let's go with a, a trombone. Why not? That sounds ridiculous. So the trombone sound is loaded. Now let's just go ahead and hit a note, shall we? Well, that was beautiful. Just as a comparison, here's what it is without any additional software. And then plug it back in. And this is what it sounds like as a trombone. Surprised how well that works. All right, this is just absolutely silly. Let's go ahead and try something a little bit different. How about an electric guitar? That should be interesting. You can now literally shred on this thing. How amazing is that? All right, the guitar might end up being my favorite one, but look how many instruments you've got to choose from on this thing. How about we try drums? Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> That's not exactly a sound I was expecting to hear come out of this thing. How about a dirty organ? We try that. That's cool. That's really cool. If I change the pitch on the back here to low, will it change anything with the app? I have a feeling it won't. This breaks the app. So if you switch it to low on certain instruments, it can't go that low. So you can only use it to a certain point. But if you go to high, the world's your oyster. So the next app we're going to be trying out is called Singling, and this is a vocal effects suite. So there's quite a lot of customization in here. You can adjust reverb, you can do auto pitch, you can adjust delays, you can do distortion, loads of things you can do in here. But for the sake of time, we're going to be using presets, and there are 19 presets on here that we're going to be trying out with this guy. Let's try the auto pitch. Actually, first things first. Vanilla Otamatone. And then auto pitch bass. Well, that's not what I was expecting. <laughs> I have low hopes for this one. This is Auto Pitch Chipmunk. Don't know what chipmunks they've been listening to. <laughs> that's disgusting. All right, let's go on to Auto Pitch Distorted. That's kind of haunting, actually. You wouldn't want to hear that coming around the corner. All right, Reverb. Now we're talking. All right, number 16, Reverb Church. I mean, it's, it's all varying degrees of foghorn, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I've been to church a few times and it sounds just like that. So there you go. That's what you can do with the Singling app. Personally, at the moment, Thumb Jam is still my favorite number one. But now we're going to try out Voice Synth. Right then. So it seems that voice synth is a fair bit more complicated. There's a lot more sliders and dials and a keyboard down here. I don't actually know what any of this does, but we're gonna start hitting buttons and see if we can work something out. Let's try a high boost. What the hell was that? All right, loudness, that's gonna sound pleasant. Wow, okay, this is gonna do some brutal things to the Sotamatone. <laughs> I think if you're planning to start like an independent experimental noise band, this is the app for you. Pure unadulterated noise right there. <laughs> oh, you monster. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Someone here is actually currently set to robot mode. Let's set it to natural. In what world is that natural? <laughs> All the sliders up. There you go. That sounds like a good idea. Let's set that to natural. I think the War of the Worlds. 
That was very World of Worlds. So I think we've come to the conclusion that this voice synth app just makes this thing sound like even more of a monster than it already is. But just be reassured that you can actually get some pleasant sounds out of this using like thumb jam and singling. If you do some customization, you can get some proper good sounds out of this thing, which I am very surprised about. Though that is us done with trying a few apps for this thing, we are not done. We still have one thing to try and that is Hooking this thing up to an amp. This is gonna go badly. So to hook this thing up, we've got a basic 3.5 millimeter cable, which we're putting an adapter onto it and plugging it into the amp. Then we plug the other end of the cable into the line out. Go ahead and turn up the volume to two. We've got Fun Jam loaded with the electric guitar sound. Let's rip this thing. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That works tremendously. <laughs> ben, I've done a monstrous thing. I've loaded up the voice synth app. I always wondered how I would go out. This is it. Prepare your ears. <laughs> so to conclude, this thing is amazing. And if you actually got it into the hands of someone who is actually musically talented, they could pull off some awesome things with this. Obviously the sound that already comes out of the automaton is now iconic. I mean, it's all over the web. <laughs> You can't beat that. But now with the addition of being able to plug this into a phone or an iPad and then use those apps to just open this instrument up, it just makes this thing a proper instrument. Yeah, I've said it. This thing could actually be a proper instrument. And with that, I think that's going to be it for another edition of Looted. If you liked this video, hit like. If you really liked it, hit subscribe. We have videos every single week. Check them out. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. And I'll play it out with a song. He's been kicked in a well. <laughs>